All right, we got the bracket over here. The playing tournament literally starts in like five hours as of the recording of this video. I'm going to try to get this clip out before the play-in game starts, but I don't think it matters. It is what it is. Um, these are the 10 Cs, the 10 teams that will make it on either side of the conference, okay? I will be doing my predictions. This video on how I feel like the outcome of the playoffs will truly land. This is going to be something I'll be doing every single round as the actual factuals get updated. But I want to see if I can get that perfect bracket. Okay? I want to see if I can get that perfect bracket going. Probably not. I don't think I've ever got a perfect bracket. I don't know if any of y'all have gotten a perfect bracket. You know? The NBA is unpredictable. You never really... Like, who who, who the fuck thought that he were going to make it to the finals last season? Like, no no dick suck, bro. No, no one saw that. Like, that ass. No, no one saw that. And Denver... Arsenal with the four months. Appreciate you. And Denver was still yes, like sir. the, uh, oh, you got to prove it ass team. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and start off on the left side. Okay. We got the Kings versus the Warriors. 9-10 matchup. Loser of this just, hey, you're out. I ain't going to lie. Your season's over. And the last time these two teams faced... We got a, first of all, we got a seven game series. And second of all, we got a 50 bomb from Steph Curry in game seven. And I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a stack in a one game situation. In a seven game series, I got Sacramento. But in a one game situation, I'm not doubting that man Wardell. Okay? I'm not doubting that man Wardell tonight or whenever this game is. So I have. The Warriors moving on right here. Got the Warriors moving on right here. Pelicans, Lakers. Pelicans, Lakers. So last night on the pod, I said the Lakers were about to lose um, just because they're low key about to metagame it to avoid a Denver Nuggets. But I truly do feel like, all troll aside, the Los Angeles Lakers are a team that they're, they're trying to win. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, fuck trying to lose to. Face the Thunder to get a better matchup. Let's let's just try to lock in a playoff um, spot. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's not, it's not. Um, Pelicans Lakers. That's a good matchup. Zion versus LeBron. If this was three years ago, this would be so fucking hype. But hey, man, Zion, the bright lights are back on you, buddy. And you got you got you got a chance to make a statement game tonight. You got a you got a chance to make a statement game tonight. 7-8 New Orleans. I'm going to go. I'm going to still go with my pick. I'm going to still go with my pick. I think picking the Pelicans, I, it's, it's, it's a 50-50 shot. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Tonight, if I, if I go over 2, I wouldn't be surprised. I just These are two good teams that are capable of beating each other in a one-game series. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I am going to go with the Pelicans to win this one. Not even on some Lakers are trying to tank type shit. I just think the Pelicans will outplay the Lakers tonight. Shout out to Funded for the six months. Um, and yeah, the Pelicans will go on. Going to be some upsets. We'll see. Um, I think, yeah, I, th I think the Pelicans are going to move on to face the Denver Nuggets in the first round. So therefore, I got the Lakers and the Warriors facing in this play in matchup right here i think this is exactly what adam silver wants to be honest with you i'm gonna be honest with you what adam silver really wanted was for uh phoenix to be in the playing tournament too but nevertheless 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 between the lakers and the warriors in a one game situation the same reason <laughs> uh why i got the warriors winning the kings does not apply here in my head okay <laughs> In my head. Um, I think the Lakers are a matchup nightmare for the Warriors. I think the Lakers are just a more talented team than the Warriors. And if we're talking about star power versus star power, <laughs> listen, if LeBron wants, if LeBron's going to turn back the clock against one dude, it's going to be against these fucking Warriors for all the shit that they've done to his fucking career. Okay? Um, so, yeah, I got the Lakers moving on. I got the I got the Lakers moving on right here. Warriors, you out of here. Lakers got your number. I don't know what to tell you. So, let's go into the playing tournament on the right side of the bracket. Right? We got the Bulls versus the Hawks. I honestly think people are kind of under underestimating the Bulls 
just in this playing tournament regard, we can have these conversations about how bad the, the franchise is from a organizational standpoint, from a positioning standpoint of, you know, they're, t- they're not tanking and they're not contending for real, for real. But I do think they are a better team than the Atlanta Hawks. We'll just, just right the second, I do think they're a better team than Atlanta Hawks. And I might have to take this back. I think last night I had Atlanta moving on. I got Chicago beating Atlanta. I I got Chicago beating Atlanta. I ain't going to lie. This is a, these are two teams that I just see in the playing tournament every year, it feels like. But, yeah, I got, I got the Bulls. I got the Bulls beating Atlanta right here. Philly versus Miami. Philly versus Miami. This is a great playing tournament game. This is fantastic for the league. This is this is great hoops for a seven and eight matchup. Um, Joel Embiid is back, but he's already had some injury scares. I still don't think Joel Embiid is one hundred percent healthy. I think they're forcing the fuck out of him to play the rest of the season, which is unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. But between the Sixers and the Heat, between the Sixers and the Heat. Huh. Why do I feel like Miami's actually a team that would meta game some shit, dog? What do y'all think is gonna win this one? Philly versus Miami. This this is this is a toss up to me. This is definitely a toss up to me. I can go go to sleep that night and whoever the fuck wins, I can I can see them winning. Um honestly I'll, that's for every single play in tournament game. Cause these teams are relatively the same. Chat got Philly winning. As a Philly fan, I gotta say Heat. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Um, yeah, I, th- I think a lot of fans are saying Philly right now. I am. I don't know. I don't know, bro. My gut, my gut is telling me. Honestly, my gut is telling me Miami. But I could I could see him be having a monster game to to carry them into the playoffs, bro. I don't know. Let's get it. Shout out to Ian for the prime months. Oh, for the for the for the prime seven months, excuse me. I am gonna go. I'm gonna go with Miami. I I I'm just gonna put a nail on the dot. I'm gonna go with Miami over here. We got a second round rematch of last season's uh, semifinals between the Knicks and the Heat. Um. Yeah, I, th- I think we see a master class from Eric Spolster against the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, I think we're going to see a well-rounded performance from the team all around. You know, from Bam to Terry to the Caleb Martins of the world to the Duncan Robinsons of the world. I think Miami's going to not necessarily make a statement game, but um, just you know what I'm saying? Just, just remind motherfuckers who they are for real. Like, <laughs> be scared of us type shit. So, yeah, I got, I got Miami moving on. Shout out to Tiny for the four months. So, I got Philly. <laughs> so, I got Philly versus Chicago in the nine. Uh, the the winner-loser matchup right here. And at this point, I do have Philly moving on. Chicago got no one to guard Embiid. And as long as Embiid is healthy, the Sixers are moving on. I ain't gonna lie. Unless Embiid isn't. Unless Embiid isn't. I don't know. But yeah, I got I got Philly moving on. I got Miami moving on. I got New Orleans moving on. And I got Los Angeles moving on on the west side of things. Um, let's go ahead and start off with the east in the first round. So I personally have Boston versus Philly. And boy, this is definitely a tough first round matchup. I don't I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Um, and as much as I feel like, you know, Boston got Philly's number, it's always a good matchup when it, when it, you know, when, when we play them, like going back to 2018, we still have to beat them in seven. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only time we really swept them was the bubble year, I think. And they didn't have them beat and maybe even Ben Simmons. I don't know. But 20, well, last, last, last season went to seven. So... As much as we own these motherfuckers, they they always put up a fight. They they always put up a fight. Um, what a fight is this season? A fight this season is a five game series. I, I can't lie. <laughs> I can't lie, man. I got I got full confidence in my squad, man. I ain't gonna lie. So 
Boston in five versus Philly. And beat is definitely good enough to get you one. Tyrese may be good enough to get you two, though. I ain't gonna lie. So, regardless, I, I got Boston moving on in five or six games. But I'm what I'm trying to do in this video chat or, or in this stream is try to limit the amount of times I say six. Because I said it on the pod last night. I feel like saying someone wins in six is like when someone asks you to rate me out of 10 and you say seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, you're just gonna you're, you're just gonna pick the most meta ass number, safe ass number, not too high but not too low ass number. You know what I'm saying? So I can't I can't, I can't spam the the X team in six. So I'm I'm gonna stand on business and say if I were to pick between a seven or a five, I think the Celtics beat the 76ers in five games. Um, Cleveland versus Orlando. <laughs> This is a, a NBA TV ass matchup. Respectfully, it's gonna be good hoops, and I will be watching. Um, but this is definitely gonna be a defensive matchup. Um, I think Orlando does actually upset Cleveland here. Cleveland's chemistry has just not been on point as of lately, from what I've been seeing. Donovan Mitchell is not healthy, um, and Donovan Mitchell is a really big part of that team. And I think. Um, I think this is this this is a, a a series where we're gonna look back and say, okay, this is Orlando's. This is when Orlando started winning. This is when Orlando started to. It's a little come out party for Orlando, but then for Cleveland, this is a boy we were wrong moment. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago, and it might have been even as recent as last year. It might have been as recent as this year. I don't, I don't know. Where we were talking about the best young cores under twenty five. And Cleveland was mentioned in that top three because of the fact that, yes, Donovan Mitchell may be over 25, but he was, like, just over 25. They got Evan Mobley. They got Jared Allen. They got Darius Garland. Um, and maybe they could still be that. I ain't going to lie. Maybe they could still be that. But being that with Donovan Mitchell, I just think there's too much of a um, timeline clash right now of a D. Mitch trying to win right now. Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, and Darius Garland, y'all aren't ready to win right now, so it's up. I'm out of here. So, yeah, I do got Orlando, um, honestly, winning this one in, in four or five. I got Orlando winning this one in four or five and just shutting motherfuckers up for real, for real. Next up, we got Milwaukee versus Indiana. Now, this is probably the most polarizing conversation from last night's podcast, um, because I honestly forgot how good and, and honestly how competitive and yeah, just how competitive Indiana is specifically against Milwaukee. I forgot about that drama they had with the game ball and all that shit, to be honest with you. Yeah, fun dip. That's what I'm saying. I, I forgot about all that drama when I made that pick last night. So that is changing my pick a little bit. That is changing my pick a little bit. Last night I said on the pod that I think we're going to see a a vintage Damian Lillard performance in this series. I think um, with Giannis being questionable, Dame is going to be forced to have the ball in his hands. And I think Damian Lillard is a heliocentric-ass player. He's been playing in heliocentric-ass offenses for the better part of the last decade. And when he's asked to be a secondary option to a Giannis, that was such a big adjustment to him that he just didn't know what the fuck to do. As great of a player Damian Lillard is. But I think in this series, with Giannis being out, Dame is going to have the ball in his hands, and I think we are going to see Dame drop 30 a game, maybe even a 40-45 in one game. Like, I think truly we're going to see a vintage Damian Lillard performance right here. Um, Indiana, Tyrese is not the same. He's also injured. He is the engine of that offense. Um, but they did make a good point last night. Number one, all the games have been competitive. And number two, Giannis is out for Milwaukee. The Pacers got Siakam now, so you can argue they got better. So at that point, you know, I think I, I I'll say this. I I do think this series is gonna be more competitive than I originally thought. Um, not that I didn't think it was gonna be like not that I thought that, that Milwaukee was just gonna blow out Indiana or anything. But with Giannis not being there. I got I got Bucks in six or seven. 
I got Bucks in six or seven. I think Dame and the supporting cast of Milwaukee got is still good to just just get by one round without Giannis. I ain't gonna lie. I, I think I think I think they still got it. I think they still got it. Moving on to New York versus Miami. Moving on to New York versus Miami. Again, a rematch of the second round last season. Rematch of the second round last season. Um, New York, honestly, didn't they go to six? They went to six, right? I just remember, like, all, all this hoopla about um, you know, playoff Jimmy, and then New York kind of slowed that shit down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they went they went to six. They went to six last season. Jimmy did get injured in like game two though, so I will say that. But I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I got New York in six. I know, I, know, I know I said I was going to try to avoid it as much as I can, but hey, man, <laughs> I can't avoid it too much. I got New York in six. I got, I got, I got New York in six. I think uh, New York defensively matches up well against Miami. When we're talking about the, the grit and grindness of Miami, I think New York is actually the perfect matchup for them, to be honest with you. Um, New York has just been playing phenomenal this year. I, I really like how they're built. Um, and in terms of matchups, I think New York matches up well with Miami. I think this is going to be a great series. I, I, I think this is going to be a great series right here. Um, can I see Miami winning? Absolutely. It is Miami all troll aside. But listen, man, I think... As as much as I want to give credit to what Miami did last season, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a stack. We did see some outlier shit last season. It is an outlier for an eight seed to make it to the finals. It is an outlier for Jimmy Butler to perform the way that he did against Milwaukee. It is an outlier for them to have the shooting nights that they had. Okay? And, um... Them facing a solid ass two seed in the first round. I don't. I don't think they can get away with it in back to back years. That's that's where I'm at. Uh, you know, again, I, I don't want to take too much credit away from them. I can't. I can't see them doing it in back to back years. Um, is are, are they gonna remain competitive? Absolutely. But now nah, I got New York moving on, man. <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong. Over in the West. Over in the West. I got OKC versus Los Angeles. I got OKC versus Los Angeles. And is the, this, this is going to be... But I ain't going to lie. Motherfuckers are really going to shift their narrative on the Thunder if they lose to the Lakers, dog. Do I think the Lakers are favored going into this series? Absolutely not. I do think going into the series, OKC is a better team. But I can't lie, man. <laughs> I can't lie and act like Los Angeles isn't clicking at the right time. I can't lie and act like I haven't said that experience does matter in the playoffs. And you're going up against arguably the most experienced team left in the playoffs, at least on... Yeah, yeah, I, I probably right. Top three most experienced team in the playoffs. You got the goat on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Um, been there, done that. When it comes to the Lakers, I at the very least think this is going to be competitive series. Even though this is this is a one through eight matchup. Um, I got the Lakers in seven. I I got the Lakers in seven. That may be a hot take. Probably is. I think anytime you got an eight seed beating a one seed, that's that's a pretty hot take. But yeah, I got, I got the Lakers beating the Thunder right here, man. I got the Lakers beating the Thunder right here. Who's guarding SGA? <laughs> LeBron. We're putting Vando in the game. And yes, I said we. <laughs> Type shit. Type shit. Who's guarding Braun on the other side? You know what I'm saying? Who's guarding AD? 
The fuck is Chet gonna do? Come on, bro. <laughs> Maybe in a couple years, but right now? Mm-mm. <laughs> Not right now, okay? Um, it, And it's cool, bro. Like, y'all got so many fucking draft picks. All your core is under 25. Okay, the Lakers have it this year. Like, Jesus Christ, y'all already overachieved, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I think, not that ass. As disappointing as it would be for a 57 win team to get knocked out by an eight seed in the first round, I think the 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 way the Thunder have played the season, the way SGA has played the season, how they've established themselves as arguably the future of the league, I think this is a W season regardless. I think this is a W season regardless. Next up, we got LA versus Dallas. We got L.A. versus Dallas. And I've been waiting. I don't... And I've been waiting. Listen. Is this the easiest matchup for Dallas? No. But you can say that for literally any team that they face. The West is just like that, dog. The West is just like that. Like, that ass, I think even if a, if, if a team like... I think the cutoff is the Warriors, but if, a, if, if the Mavs face any other team outside of the Warriors, I think it would be a competitive ass series. That's how good the Western Conference is. And now, mind you, I, I think highly of the Dallas Mavericks when I say that. But I think this is the year. I I think this is the year Luca breaks down that wall of the LA Clipper curse. This is going to be Michael Jordan beating the Detroit Pistons. This is going to be LeBron James taking down the big 3 Celtics. This is going to be our generation of that. Because for years at a time, Luka's been dog-walking the Clippers, but he just can't get it done because the Clippers are just a better team. They got more help. And Kawhi's been kawhi But this season, Luka magic will be seen. All right? He will remind y'all. Not even remind because y'all don't even know for real. For real. He will put y'all on onto who Luka actually is. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah. Yeah. I got the Mavs. Honestly, in five. <laughs> I I got the Mavs in five. Yes. <laughs> that Clipper pack will be smoked sooner rather than later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Minnesota versus Phoenix. I think this is going to be great basketball right here. Good hoops right here. Great hoops right here. Um, Can I see Phoenix beating Minnesota? I do believe so. I think from an experience standpoint, uh, Phoenix does um, have it on Minnesota. I think um, defensively, as great as Minnesota is, that Phoenix Suns, listen, they they banked on that big three, and that big three is healthy right now. I will I I will say that I will give Phoenix that they banked on that big three being healthy by the time the playoffs rolled around at the end of the day, and that big three is healthy. Eric Gordon is giving them good minutes. Um, I'm blanking on Grayson Allen is giving them great minutes. Use of Nurkic has been surprisingly healthy this year. Um, I said Minnesota last night. I said Minnesota last night. And I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. I think um this, this season is when we really start to see the turning point, the, the passing of the torch when it comes to the NBA. I think this season is the perfect balance of the, the old heads still being competitive Right, the Warriors are still a playing team. The Lakers are still a playing team. You know, the Clippers are still that. The, the 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 Suns are still that. But I think this playoff run, we're gonna see the not even passing the taking of the tours because you gotta take that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm expecting a really big series from Anthony Edwards. I don't know who's gonna guard Anthony Edwards on the other side. 
Um, I think defensively, while Phoenix does pose some problems for that defense, um, they got a lot of guys they can throw at the, at that Phoenix Suns big three. And um, Anthony Edwards is going to have a come out party. Anthony Edwards this series is going to average 32 points, six assists, five rebounds. He's going to have some crazy dunks. He might even have one game winner. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I got Minnesota moving on. Uh, come out party might not be the, the right word, but, um, yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see a good series. I feel like the Mavericks is going to the finals and then losing it. I don't know about that antic. Okay. Okay. Um, next up, 2-7, we got Denver versus uh, New Orleans. Now, if New Orleans upsets Denver, that'd be fantastic. I ain't gonna lie, but nah, the defending champs have been playing like defending champs. They got nowhere to guard Jokic. The Pelicans are cool, but um, yeah, yo, the Nuggets are just different. Nugget, nuggets in four or five. Nuggets in four or five, man. I ain't gonna lie. Respect to the Pelicans. Because that four or five might even be good hoops. But, nah. Nah. <laughs> nuggets in four or five. Next up, let's go over to the Eastern Conference. Uh, Wait. No, no, no. Okay. Never mind. Let's go back to the Eastern Conference. We are now in the semifinals. I have Boston versus Orlando. Boston versus Orlando. Shout out to Orlando. Um, I just don't think they have enough offense to beat the Celtics at, at the end of the day right now. I know they are a gritty-ass team. I know they're a defensive, physical-ass team, which Boston does have problems with or against. So I'm, I'm not about to shun them. But, um, you know, I think they can, they can defend us good. But on the other side, can you score on also a top three, top four defense in the league? That's to be seen. Um, I don't. I don't think they can. And um, yeah, I got Boston in like four or five. I got Boston in like four or five. Boston four or five. Okay, moving on. Milwaukee versus New York. Milwaukee versus New York. This should be great hoops right here. Does Giannis come back if they make it this far? Probably. So with this matchup, I am assuming that Giannis is coming back. Maybe not healthy, but maybe 85%, 80% of who he is. Milwaukee versus New York. My mind tell me, my, my mind tell me New York is gonna go deep this year, dog. I don't. Maybe not my mind, but my heart is just telling me New York is gonna have a really good playoff run, man. Really, really deep playoff run this season. Um, I think, again, defensively, they match up really well to the Milwaukee Bucks. I believe the Knicks, if if they still are, hopefully I'm not wrong on this, they are really good at defending wings and forwards specifically. And uh, would you look at that? The Bucks have one of the best forwards in the league. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's that. Um, I am a little bit concerned on how stagnant New York's offense can get, but against a team as bad defensively as Milwaukee Bucks, I honestly think they're getting saved there. And then on the defensive end, I think I think they're a well coached team defensively, um, and uh, they're about to put the clamps on Dame. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> they're about to put the clamps on Dame too, man. Um, New York in seven. New New York in seven. I think this is going to be a great series right here. Um, New York in seven. Let's go over to the Western Conference. I got the Mavs versus the Lakers. And um, sticking with the theme, listen, the Lakers got one away with the Thunder. But, um, yeah, Luka's taking that shit. Luka's, Luka's taking that shit. It's the passing of the torch. I am next up. I am him. This is my year. Um, yeah, Mavs in Mavs in five. Mavs in five. I, again, I just think that that I just think that team is clicking at the right time. I think Luca is playing at all time levels right now, and I think for the first time we're really seeing Luca not only with help but help that complements him. Um, really, really well with great coaching as well. 
Um, they're going to have home court in that series against L.A. if it does go the way that it goes. So, hey, I got the Mavs in five. I got the Mavs in five. And I think Ky- yo, yeah, someone said in the chat, I think Kyrie, <laughs> he going to have his moment. He going to, listen, listen, Austin, listen, <laughs> whoever is on LeBron, Kyrie, come here. Uh, switch, Braun on the right side of the court, Kyrie right there with him. Tween, tween, hezzy, tween, hezzy, pull up in your face. It's going to happen at some point. Watch. Watch. On God. <laughs> On God, man. So the Mavs in five. The Mavs in five. Um, On the bottom side of the bracket, Minnesota versus Denver. I got Denver in five. I got I got Denver in five. Is that disrespecting Minnesota? Maybe it is what it is. Um, I just, that, that Denver team just, is just consistent as shit. That team is just consistent as shit. They they are proven. Uh, again, they have the the experience advantage. Um, Rudy Gobert is great defensively, but not against Jokic. Jokic be cooking him. Um, yeah, man. I just, listen, I, I I got Denver going to the finals, or being being a Western Conference Finals contender. Excuse me. I got Denver making a deep playoff run. So, just stay in the course right there. Just stay in the course right there. Going over to the Eastern Conference, the Eastern Conference Finals. The Eastern Conference Finals. I got Boston versus New York. The Battle of the Northeast teams. The Pacific Division is on top this year. You know what I'm saying? Is it the Pacific? Atlantic? Oh my God. I'm already blanking on names. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um. Boston versus New York. Man, it. <laughs> Boston and seven. Boston and seven. Boston and seven. I think um, I've played it a little bit too safe when it comes to my Boston picks. As a Boston fan, this team does not fail to make it hard on its fans. And I think a playoff run where they go five, five, and five, that's just that's just not gonna happen. I've been there, I've done that. Okay? Um I'm not I'm not buying that fool's gold, even when I see a sixty four win team. Okay. Um Yeah, I think Boston going up going up against New York though, it's gonna be a, a, a great matchup. Man, fuck that, man. I ain't go. <laughs> man, fuck that. It's Boston and Foe. What? 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 Kristaps is coming for revenge. Okay? He remembered the booze on draft night. He remembered the booze on draft night. This is his series. Okay, we could talk about the JBs, we could talk about the JTs, but there's one guy on our team that got a vendetta against that other team. Okay? We are about to cook New York. Yes. Yes, it was cute while it lasted. But there's levels to these bezels, okay? When we talk about a team living off of just their city alone and their city alone, it is New York. Let's keep it a stack. They don't got a number one. They don't got a number one to make it to the finals. Stop it. Okay? Cool little run while y'all got there. Cool little run while it started. While it went on, excuse me. But it stops in Boston. We are inevitable. We are fucking inevitable. All right? Boston in four. Yes. Going over to the Western Conference, I got Dallas versus L.A. I got Dallas versus L.A. Do I? Wait. 
Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Dallas versus Denver. Dallas versus Denver. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Dallas versus Denver. My mind's telling me no, but my body's telling me yes. Okay? And what I mean by that is... My mind's telling me we're about to get Boston versus Denver in the finals. But I feel like that's too safe. I feel like that's too predictable. You know what I'm saying? In a league with parity, we're just about to get the most pre- the one seed in the the one seed in the East versus I mean, I know they're the two seed, but the defending champs in the West? I don't know. It just feels too safe. For me to say Denver moves on, and you might be saying B-Souls, where's the basketball analysis? Sometimes there doesn't need to be. Sometimes you really do got to go off vibes, because sometimes just that's just how it goes. Not before, for, on, on, on some real basketball shit. <laughs> on some real basketball shit. I was looking um, at the Denver Nuggets playoff runs um, over the last two years, and specifically last season. I don't think they ever face an elite offense in the playoffs. Like a like an elite offense in the playoffs. Maybe some of these offenses became elite once the playoffs rolled around, so I'll check. But Minnesota last season, which they 4 one last season was a 23rd-ranked offense. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Phoenix last season was a 14th rank offense. And then LA last season was a 20th rank offense. And then Miami last season was a 25th rank offense. So they only faced the the best offense that they faced was a 14th rank offense in the league on their way to a championship. Um maybe we have to look at other years. Let's let's look at the season prior. Um, Denver, 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 where's Denver? Denver, yeah, they lost to Golden State in the first round, and Golden State offensively in 22 was 17th. So, there's that. Oh, my God. They were the number one defense in the league? Jesus Christ. But, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I do think there's something to that. And, um, I'm just thinking about that offense in Dallas, man, and... I don't know. I don't know. I also think um, they got a decent amount of bigs that you can throw at Jokic um, better than other teams. So defensively, they're no slouch as well. And then um, they also got some guys that can just make Jokic work defensively as well. That can make that can make. So not only do they got defensively centers that can match up as best as you can with a Jokic. They also got some dudes that'll just make make Jokic run around and tire him out. So hopefully that's the formula. Maybe that's the formula. I don't know. Um, but my gut is telling me that when you roll out that ball and Dallas and Denver play, I got Dallas beating Denver in six or seven games. I got I got Denver losing in. I don't I don't know what I just said. Oh my god, I'm tripping right now. Um I got Dallas winning in six or seven games. I don't know if I already said that. So NBA finals for B Souls, the prediction. The prediction. Dallas versus Boston. Dallas versus Boston. Do the Celtics get dicked down by another offensive historical weapon in Aluka? Possibly. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Motherfuckers just like getting their legacy games off of the Celtics. I just historically speaking, when you talk about I, th- I honestly Chad, I think it's a prerequisite for an all-time great to dick down the Celtics at one point in their career. I'm like literally think of any star any legend, and outside of maybe Shaq, maybe Hakeem, every single all-time great has just had a I dick down Boston moment. Jordan, Kobe, Braun. Okay, Tim Duncan probably isn't in that conversation. 
Steph Curry's in that conversation. <laughs> KD tried. KD tried. You know what I'm saying? That shit didn't work. But Boston versus Dallas. <laughs> we finish it this year, man. We finished the story this year, man. This is, I think this is a, a season defined by knocking down doors. Knocking down walls, okay? And Luka has knocked down walls. OKC has knocked down walls, okay? New York will be knocking down walls. Orlando will be knocking down walls. And I think that wall for the Boston Celtics is getting the job done. Okay, I think the Boston Celtics are fueled by revenge. They are fueled by proving people wrong. And I love the fact that going into this season, going into these playoffs, we are both simultaneously the best record in the league while being doubted the most. I love that position. <laughs> I love that position. For any real Celtics fan out there, you know this team plays the best when their back are against the wall. And when you put this team in a position where they feel like their backs are always against the wall because everyone is doubting them every game, even though they're supposed to be favored, magic will happen. Magic will happen. And the Boston Celtics will win their one of many championships in 2024 in my Kobe year in my Kobe year type shit and things of that nature yes sir absolutely abso fucking lutely that being said that's my bracket that's my bracket y'all y'all love the favor and everyone saying you could coast through <sighs> alright bro Okay, dude. If, if we want to lie and act like even motherfuckers who know ball doubt the Celtics, we can we can, we can do that. We can, we can we can absolutely do that. <laughs> Celtics and five. Celtics and five. Okay. Um. Yeah. We we can absolutely lie to ourselves and act like motherfuckers for months haven't been saying that. Oh, when they face the Heat in the first round, y'all gonna get cooked. Oh, 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 when when y'all face Milwaukee, Milwaukee got y'all number. Y'all remember the blowout? Y'all remember the blowout? Oh, y'all remember the last game? And that was, hey, New York. New York. I think New York is Boston's biggest competition in the East. They get physical. They get rough. So that's three teams I just named that apparently can beat the Celtics team. Apparently, in the first round, if we encountered the 76ers with beat, that's a matchup the Celtics don't want to see in the first round. <laughs> they better not wish for that. It's going to be a nightmare for them. Who's got to beat? So that's arguably four in the Eastern Conference alone of teams that can easily, apparently, well, not easily, but can beat us. And then over in the West, I got saying, I got say saying this on record. Apparently, every fucking team in the West can fucking beat us aside from like four teams. The Thunder can beat us. The Clippers can beat us. The Mavs can beat us. The Suns can beat us. The Nuggets can beat us. The Lakers can beat us. The Warriors can beat us because they're the fucking boogeyman. So outside of fucking Minnesota and New Orleans, the whole Western Conference can beat the Celtics. <laughs> but simultaneously, apparently this is a super team that if they get eliminated, oh my God, y'all were too good to get eliminated. Which is it? Which is it? Make your fucking decision. God. Because that's dick suck of hell. No matter what this team does, unless they win a championship, they will get their pack cooked. What if they just get outplayed fair square? What happened to that? What happened to a team just losing fair and square with no pack to be smoked? Apparently that doesn't exist. This is insane. 